Hey, Angela Carter here with Earn Money with Angela.com, your music success coach. And I wanted to wrap up this week. This week, all this week on this channel, we've been talking about music marketing on a budget. If you've missed out, you want to make sure that you go back to the videos on this channel. Uh, we talked about on Monday, I believe, how to get your music exposed in front of a thousand people for only five dollars. Um, I did a video this week on how to promote your live local music shows on Facebook for free. And so we're wrapping up today, Friday, it's the weekend. We're wrapping up with a video on how to actually use YouTube to get exposure for free. But I'm also going to talk about two big mistakes that I see musicians make where they're leaving money on the table. Okay, so let's talk about YouTube. Um, YouTube is a great way for you to get your music exposed in front of a lot of people. In fact, I know that for me, when I first got started online, you know, I've sold um, kind of a little bit about my, back, my background. Um, one of the reasons why I'm passionate about helping musicians be able to learn and tap into marketing online is because I've sold stuff online before. I'm kind of a, a unique, I guess, uh, music marketer and the fact that I have had experience in marketing and selling stuff online and I've helped other people sell stuff online and one of the the major uh, mediums that I use was video um, I've gotten over 10,000 views to some of my videos I think the the most viewed video I've ever done online has been now over 30,000 views so I know how to get uh, <laughs> exposure on YouTube and I know how to help other people uh, get exposure on YouTube I've helped other people get thousands of views on their videos but not only get views and exposures but sell stuff online so one of the things that I see that a lot of musicians one of the mistakes that I see a lot of musicians make um, there's two the first one I want to talk about is where they're not providing a link to their website where people can learn more to, in their YouTube video description. If you've ever been on YouTube, look look at right now. Um, go to the video description of this video, and you'll see my website. <laughs> and what I see is that musicians either do one or two things: they either don't put their website there, or secondly, they put their website there, but it's not clickable. Meaning, on YouTube, you have to put the the full uh, URL, the full website address in that description to make it clickable and what you want to do is you want to make it easy for people to actually go to your website it's much much easier to tell people hey just click on the link in the description box below to go to this website as opposed to saying here go to www dot you know earn money with angela dot com it's easier for people to just click on a link you want to make it easy for people to do the action that you want them to do if you want them to go to your website to buy your music make it easy you know I'm reminded of um, my mentor and my leader um, she just made seventy thousand dollars last month let's talk about that but anyway um, she was sharing this story about how when she first got started in her business um, she was selling a, a book from uh, a book that she had from a, a, a table at an event um, she, one of her friends invited her along to this event that he was uh, doing he had a table at this event he said hey you know you can come along and, and sell your book at this event well anyway uh, she sold this book at this event and this guy comes up to the table and he says I want to buy your book and she said okay well you know it's I forgot how much it was let's just say twelve dollars so oh, it's twelve dollars and so he says well okay I have a credit I have this credit card here you go and she said oh I'm sorry I, you know I was invited to this event at the last minute I don't have a credit card processing machine I would need cash and he said well I have this credit card <laughs> she's like well I don't have a credit card processing machine And he said let me tell you a piece of advice don't ever make it hard for people to buy from you and he said look well here's what I'm gonna do I want your book I like you I want you I want this book I'm going to leave you I'm gonna write down my credit card information I'm gonna leave you my credit card and I'm gonna get this book you go figure out a way to process my credit card and he walks away so she's like scrambling everywhere now trying to figure out how do I, how do I process this card how do I? and so she was telling other people this story but I had this guy just came up to me and gave me his credit card information and then they asked like well who, who Ask for a description. Who who is this guy and what does he look like? So she described the guy, and the people told her at this event, "Oh, that's Mark Hoverson. He's a millionaire." And she was like, "What?" And she said, "Till this day, she has never forgotten that what he said." So here's the advice of a millionaire right now: Don't ever make it hard for people to buy from you. So when you're on YouTube and you've done this great music video and you've uploaded it, don't ever make it hard for people to learn and where to get access to buy your stuff make it easy put your URL to your website make it clickable so they can click on it in your YouTube video description otherwise you are leaving money at the table like 
my leader, like my mentor did. Learn from a millionaire. Second thing that second mistake that I see people make on YouTube, especially musicians, is they'll put a YouTube video up and then they just leave it there. And they think that that's going to magically now bring all these views. That's not how it works. Here's what I tell people. It's a strategy that's really, really easy. It's called peep the game. What do I mean by that? Look at what other people are doing, especially what other musicians are doing to get their music out there and to get exposure. Learn from successful people. Watch what they do. So when you see a musician, let's talk about like a really popular musician. When you see a musician launch and release a new video for maybe their latest single, what do they do? They, they go out and they promote it. They don't just do the video and then just say, okay, we've did this video and we're just going to just leave it, you know, here. They go out and they, they promote it. How? They put it on YouTube. Um, Vivo is a really popular channel now and they do it, you know, through Vivo. They syndicate it through Vivo. We call it syndication. And I'm going to talk about that word in a little bit here. They go on television shows. They go on different networks and they perform the show. Like if you look at um, a lot of popular R&B artists or rap artists, they not only release their single, where they go? They go to 106 and Park to release the, 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 the video, to promote it, or they go perform on One Six Apart, they go perform on all these different shows, there's artists, I mean, other genres, they go to Good Morning America, they go to the Today Show, they go out and they promote that stuff, they go promote their new single, their new video, same thing you want to do, peep the game, see what other successful people are doing and do the same thing, when you upload a video to YouTube, now you go and promote it, your job is not done when you upload it, you go and promote that video, tweet it, that's what major uh, artists do all the time they say hey they, they tell their following hey I just released this new video check it out you do the same thing go to Twitter go to Facebook those are your networks you know how I said you know the, the popular artists go to you know Good Morning America Today Show uh, 106 and Park TRL all these different places then you have your own network you know what they're called LinkedIn they call it Facebook they call it Twitter <laughs> you have your own network YouTube Go out and promote that piece, uh, that video. Go out and promote it. So that's the, oh, and I said I want to talk about syndication. We call that syndication when you release a piece of content online and you go and promote it. It could be a blog post. Um, it could be, you know, you just got interviewed on um, a radio, uh, internet radio show. You go out and you promote it and you, we call it syndicating, meaning putting it in different places. Put that same piece of content, that YouTube video, and put it in, on different networks in different networks to expose it to different places that you do this and you see this happen all the time with television shows um, like for example uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is one of my favorite shows from childhood right well the reruns still show they back you know I don't know when it I think it was in the early 90s right when uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air started they had original episodes that they did but now they syndicated it's called it's in syndication meaning now those are you know, original shows are now being reran, reruns are being shown on different networks. I know uh, TBS, I think, shows a lot of the uh, old Fresh Prince Bel Air episodes. So now they took what they had already produced and they're syndicating it on different networks, people that already have a following, right? TBS already has a lot of viewers, and it has a large audience. And so that's what you want to do take what you've already produced, your video, and now go out and spread it on networks that already have audience. You already know how to do this. If you peep the game, look at what successful people, successful people are doing and do the same thing. This is going to conclude our music marketing on a budget series. Hope you enjoyed it. Look, if you want to learn internet marketing, if you want to master how to use the internet to market your music, but if you want to learn how to make money online, promoting and marketing your music, go to www.earnmoneywithangela.com or click on the description, uh, the video description box below. Click on the link there in that video description box and learn how to finally utilize the internet to market and to get your music exposed to thousands of people. And if you want to actually earn money while you learn internet marketing so that maybe you can, you know, be able to invest in the music that you want. Maybe you want a, a studio. Um, you want to be able to earn enough to, to make a studio so that you can actually record your music. Maybe you want to earn enough money to be able to walk away from your job so you can do your music full time. You can also learn how to do that as well on earnmoneywithangela.com. Get started. Put in your email address on that page. Watch the video to learn how to make money online. But also make sure that you get plugged in to partner with me when you do. 
you'll get a welcome email from my assistant welcoming you to the team and giving you some instructions on how to plug into our training site so you can get access to learning all this information about internet marketing simplified way and then also you'll get instructions on how to do and get um, a phone strategy session with me where we can look at what your goals are your income goals how much money you want to make um, doing your music marketing your music and help you set up an action plan of how to actually get to your income goals. So again, go to earnmoneywithangela.com. I'm sure that you've gotten so much value out of our Music Marketing on a Budget series. Stay tuned to next week um, for some more information and some more tips and advice that can help you get your music out there in a big way. Bye.